Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are back with another interesting example that is automatic board cleaner using PLC. So let us see friends what is this project. So here I have drawn one HMI screen for your better understanding. So this is one board and if we want to clear whole board at one time then what we will do we will use this slider to move from one side to another. Assume that initially this slider is in left side. So this left side limit switch is changed and it is indicated as limit switch is on. And now we write something and after that if we want to erase this we will press the clean button. So what will happen this slide will start moving towards the right words. Let us assume for moving this slider to right it's a, it is in forward direction. So here in the HMI it is indicating that motor is running in the forward direction. So as it moved from here now this sensor is not pressed. So this limit switch will be unpressed and it will act as off. Okay. So slide is moving toward right side and we assume that motor is forward right now. Here there will be some motor. We can keep here rack and pinion type arrangement to move this slider. Okay. And when it reaches to right side, this right limit switch will be sensed. So, what it will do? It will stop the motor. So, you can see here it is motor is stopped or off. Again, we write something and again we want to clean the board. So, what we will do? We will just press the clean button. So right now because the right limit switch is sensed and the clean button is pressed. So what will happen? This slider has to move left side. So we will write code like that. Okay. So it will start moving towards the left. So assume that this is the reverse direction of motor. So motor is moving reverse. So this slide will move towards the left side until this limit switch is sensed. So it will come back to this original position. We will come back to this stage. Okay. So this is the complete project requirement. So let us see the wiring details. So first of all, we will connect the ground terminal of SMPS to the source sink of the digital inputs. Now we will take 24 volt supply. And we have three inputs, so we will connect 24 volt supply to each of these three inputs. Our first input is clean push button, so we will connect this input to X0. Similarly, left limit switch will be connected to X1, and right limit switch will be connected to X2. Now, here I have written sensor because you can use proximity sensor also or limit switch also. Now, what will be our outputs? So, we just have two outputs. So, we can either reverse forward motor through contactors or relays. So, we will require two relays or two contactors. So, basically, uh, from the digital outputs of PLC, we can energize the respective relay or contactors. So, in the common C0, we will connect the ground terminal, and in zero, we will connect the motor forward contactor or motor forward relay and y1 is for motor reverse and its other another terminal will be connected to 24 volt supply so friends as you know the contactor or relay has a1 and a2 terminals so it's like a1 terminal or a2 terminal is connected one of the terminal is connected to 24 volt supply and another terminal is connected to y0 and y1 if this is energized, motor will run in forward and if this is energized, motor will turn in reverse direction. So that's all for wiring. Now let us discuss what will be the logic required to create this program. So first of all, if the we assume the first case that if slider is in the left side, so left limit switch is active or it is pressed and then clean button is pressed 
so now motor has to turn the forward direction okay towards the right side and until when it will keep on until the right limit switch is pressed so these two conditions are to start the motor and this right limit switch condition is to stop the motor okay in this first case now next time what will happen our slider is already in right side so right side limit switch should be active and now if user press the clean button if these two conditions are met then motor will start in reverse direction and it will remain start in reverse until the left limit switch is sensed so in this case left limit switch is stopping the motor and these two conditions are to start the motor now we can also keep two buttons one button for moving the motor in forward direction and another button for moving the motor in reverse direction but sometimes we can do cost savings or like that so for so here we have used only one button so just by pressing the one button how we can forward and reverse the motor so for that we have here used alt that is alt command what this command does whenever you press the button it changes the state of desired bit so one time if you press this button it will turn on the forward bit and another time you press this button it will turn on the reverse bit so actually it is just on off a uh, one bit only but by using the no and nc of that bit we can turn on this forward or reverse contact so these things will be more clear to you while doing the ladder programming so without wasting the time let us start our ladder programming So friends, now I will open my ISPsoft software from here. So let us click on the new file and write the name of our project. now first of all we will write device command list so x0 is our clean button x1 is our left sensor and x2 is our right sensor similarly we will write the outputs comments so y0 let us assume it is forward direction or forward direction of motor and y1 is the reverse direction of motor now just close this right click on the programs click on the new file click okay so let us maximize this and zoom it from here so our first network comment will be alter the current state when i clean the clean button it should alter the state from forward to reverse and reverse to forward so for that we will insert contact from here or there is another way also that i will show you later here we want to insert one instruction so go to functions block click all types add the mnemonics of the instruction over here and click on insert or there is other way also just from your keypad write mnemonics of your instruction and the bit you want to toggle so whenever the x0 is pressed m0 will be toggle from on to off and off to on now insert a new network from here write the network command move motor
Vamos por outro. Press enter. What is the another way to insert the contact? So just from keep it right LD, then the address you want to enter. So you see we have inserted the NO contact. So we are assuming when M0 is on, motor will run in forward. So here we want to insert one output coil. So that also you can insert from keypad only. Just write out and then the address I0. You see we have inserted the output coil. Now this is the condition to start the motor in forward. But we have to also insert the condition to stop this. So whenever the right sensor becomes on at that time it should stop. So here we have to insert the NC contact of X2. So how we can do that just write LDI and then write the address of right sensor. So you can see we have inserted the NC contact. Whenever the X2 is on its NC will lose the continuity so it will stop the motor. The same network we will make for reverse motor. So for that again insert a network from here and right over here motor in reverse. Now again insert this time we assume if M0 is off then motor should run in reverse. So again here we have to insert NC contact of M0 and the output so we will write out Y1 so we have inserted output coil so again when X1 that is the left sensor is on this output should become off so here also we will insert the NC contact of X1 so this is the short and simple ladder programming for automatic board cleaner its simulation I will show you in the next part of this video where I will design the HMI screen for the same. So meet you in the next video.